Ah, uh, the glimpses of spring and the beautiful blossoms that a wonderful morning brings. It is also time for breakfast. I am making a very simple egg bake. I will put the recipe in the description box, but I always add more things, add-ins. I had extra sweet potato fries, some sauteed veggies, then some egg and milk mixture, extra seasonings, and mm, it is delicious and just a great way to start your morning with a healthy and protein-packed breakfast. Living in Japan is a way to enjoy abundant life. You are learning to appreciate tough times because they amplify your awareness of my presence. Tasks that you use to dread are becoming rich opportunities to enjoy my closeness. When you feel tired, you remember that I am your strength. You take pleasure in leaning on me. I am pleased by your tendency to turn to me more and more frequently, especially when you are alone. When you are with other people, you often lose sight of my presence. Your fear of displeasing people puts you in bondage to them, and they become your primary focus. When you realize this has happened, whisper my name. This tiny act of trust brings me to the forefront of your consciousness, where I belong. As you bask in the blessing of my nearness, my life can flow through you to others. This is abundant life. I had pulled my sourdough out of my fridge and am reactivating it with some flour and some water for some sourdough pizza tonight for supper. Good morning friends! It is the weekend. It is Saturday, May 2nd and I am working on my first cup of coffee still. It's been one of those mornings and uh, we had egg bake this morning that you saw. I'll link the recipe below. Nevaeh loves egg bake and I like to vary up what we have with eggs in the morning for breakfast. So I decided to make that and I never follow a recipe exactly. I always put my own spin on it, put a little twist to it, adding extra things, um, extra spices and vegetables and stuff like that. Um, and then we always have a little devotional in the morning and it's just so nice and refreshing to start our day off as a family that way. And um, yeah, now I'm just been catching up on answering some YouTube comments and it's about 9 20 and Nevaeh will go down for a nap here in a little bit <coughs> excuse me she's just playing with her little rocking horse out here but this day is um, unexpected I don't know what's gonna really happen today we have a friend coming to till my second garden and um, I have another recipe for you I'm gonna make sourdough pizza so you'll have to stay tuned later on for that, how I make that. I follow the Farmhouse on Boone sourdough um, pizza crust, which is sourdough starter. That's all it is. It's super simple. But anyways, yeah, today's going to be kind of cleaning, um, getting things done. It's cloudy, but going to be 70 out, so still going to be a beautiful day. So I hope you can come along with us today as we enjoy our Saturday. Are you gonna ride the rocking horse? Yeah. yeah. Well, the cleaning is beginning. Starting with folding up Nevaeh's cloth diapers. We've used them since uh, she was born and I really enjoy using them. I have to make sure I do a really good clean of them. Um, with some funk rock is what it's called like three every three months because otherwise the ammonia starts to smell but it's fun to have Nevaeh playing on the floor while I do some laundry and then vacuuming time I probably have only vacuumed once a week since this quarantine has happened um, Nevaeh hates the vacuum and you'll see that here later on so um, I do enjoy this vacuum because it can go on hard surfaces too and on carpet on rugs I love it and of course yep yeah, like I said Nevaeh did not enjoy the vacuum so I had a hold her and I just got the surface I obviously didn't move any junk on the floor I just literally got the worn used areas that we walk on so little Missy here did not enjoy the vacuuming at all. 
she does not like loud noises very much and <laughs> did not want to be part of it. So I had to hold her for a little while while I finished vacuuming at least the surface area. Did not get, have time to get under anything. I tried to do a little laundry folding. That didn't really happen much either. So that's just how some days go being a mom. I'm sure many of you understand this, that you have high expectations for the day of getting things done and it just doesn't happen, does it? So let me know in the comments if you've had that happen, um, which I'm sure you all have. So anyways, also our guy who is tilling for us had some issues with the tiller, a uh, bad belt or something like that. So he hasn't even been able to start tilling and he's been here for like an hour and a half. So he's got to fix that and hopefully then we'll get the garden tilled and get some lawn area tilled up to replant some new grass. Yay! Our dog kind of wears it up and it's just, it's been very weedy in that certain section for a long time. So it's time for fresh grass and fresh garden spot. I like to wipe down my stainless steel with a Norwex cloth that really just shines up all my appliances really well and of course I'm wearing my apron because I'm working in the kitchen so gotta wear my antique vintage apron. Um, if you haven't seen my thrifted favorites for my kitchen, definitely go check that video out. My apron is one of them. Um, I also am just using the cloth to wipe down some of my chairs because, hey, why not? It's used in the kitchen and it wipes everything down super well. So I just wanted to do a little cleanup of the kitchen and the chairs. You never often see all the stickiness on the back until you start wiping and then you realize oh those are gross and you gotta get that done I felt like taking a break from the cleaning and then making some protein bars. These are a great, healthy snack. Um, they do have quite a bit of fat because there's quite a bit of peanut butter in them and quite a bit of honey. But I love these for a pick-me-up in the afternoon and they're just so delicious. Definitely cannot stop at just one. All right, it is time for me to do a little cleaning of the floors. Nevaeh's chair is right here, so it often gets really dirty right there. I'm not a fan of rugs under tables because of the cleaning factor. And yes, Nevaeh is crying in the background. It is nap time and she's struggling to fall asleep. So I may have to go check on her, but yeah, her shoes need to move too. It's just a little smeary, gross. Yep, stuff on the floor, little toys. Just gonna have to do a good mopping. Um, I'll use my Swiffer, some spray cleaner on the floor, and then I will um, just show you how I do that and get it clean. Might have to do a little spot cleaning as well. So when you run out of floor cleaner, you kind of just go with what you've got. I'm just using a method all-purpose cleaner. I know, probably not what I should be using on the floor, but it did the job. It got the floor clean and I'm satisfied with how it looks. So um, I do need to invest or make some of my own floor cleaner. <laughs> Thank you. 
during Nevaeh's afternoon nap, I took some time to get outside some more and do some planting of the garden that was tilled this morning. I've got the baby monitor strapped to my hip so I can hear her if she wakes up, but I'm just doing some potatoes that I've had lying around that I saved that started to get eyes on them and I just cut them in half and making sure they have an eye on them and putting them in like a five inch deep hole. Um, and I just do this, put some water in it, and call it good, and let them start doing their thing in the ground. So I love gardening. I don't know if any of you are like me, but I could be outside gardening all day long if I had the time. So now um, I already put my tomatoes in. I am working on some pepper plants, and uh, this garden now has more light. We trimmed some trees, so it will get plenty of light this year. Last year, struggled a lot because we had our trees overhanging way too much and so it did not get enough sunlight but I did put peppers tomatoes um, carrots cucumbers cabbage and then um, onion you'll see me plant here in this garden and then some flowers of course I love to add flowers to my vegetable gardens too just adds a beautification to it that I like uh, these wire cages were from my parents as well, so I didn't have to ever buy any of those. All right, Nevaeh was up for my nap, so she and Maggie are hanging out while I get my onion sets in the ground. And one thing I learned from listening to Shay Elliott was make sure you plant your onions deep enough. Last year, mine all popped out of the ground, and they didn't do anything. So I made sure to put them deep enough because I want onions this year, that is for sure. And of course I had to change my shirt. I got way too hot because it got sunny and 70 degrees. So what a beautiful day to be out planting the garden. Well, it has been quite a while since I've talked with you. I have done quite a bit outside today. It's been a gorgeous spring day. I got some more garden planted as you saw. We got the big area tilled and I got the grass seeds planted. I know um, part of that area is going to be flowers. More like, I've been watching a lot of Elliot Homestead and um, Parisian Farm Girl, so like a uh, protege, protege, there we go, protege garden. So it'll have some produce in it too. It's gonna be a teeny little thing though. My husband's out back mowing. Um, Nevea just had her snack, so it's been a really productive day. We even got to go for a walk. My body's kind of physically tired already though, because I've done a lot. I cleaned the bathroom, you didn't see me do that. Obviously saw me clean the kitchen floor, it needed it badly. Um, I got some of my protein bars made. It's just been an awesome day, and I love that the sun is shining, and it is like, it's five to five. Five to five. I gotta get supper going. Um, like I said, we're gonna do some sourdough pizzas. So it's quite simple actually, once you get the hang of it. The process has to go pretty quick though. Um, and I am going to use a pizza stone and then tonight hopefully we can relax. But anyways, um, little miss has her shoes still on. Oh yeah, she's got her shoes still on because we're going to go back out most likely. And if I didn't say, she kind of looks like a little boy today. But her shirt is so cute. Can I see your shirt? Other grandpa in a rocking chair. And this is my grandpa who's a superhero. <laughs> Where has the day gone? Alright, it's already time to make my pizza. I preheated the oven to 425 with the cast iron and my pizza um platter what is that called pizza stone in the oven starting at the same time then i took them out after it's preheated put some olive oil on it and time to pour the sourdough starter on it literally is just the sourdough starter and you pour that on to literally whatever you like your thickness it, this does become a thin crust pizza but blaze and i are okay with that and nevaeh likes it too so yeah i just kept pouring and pouring and i made two because we like leftovers so if you don't like leftovers you probably only need one but yeah i dumped the sourdough starter on and then once i got that done i put some italian seasoning on put it back in the oven to bake at 
for 25 again for about 10 minutes so um, make sure you do that otherwise your crust is going to be doughy if you put all your toppings on before baking it learned from a mistake so don't do that all right i'm using a marinara sauce from aldi actually we like that flavor of this sauce and just covering the crust we love lots of sauce and then i had sauteed up some veggies earlier in the afternoon to put on oops sorry i put my meat on first pepperoni you can do whatever you want honestly and then i had some olives chopped and now the sauteed vegetables you need to saute them first otherwise they won't get cooked in the 10 minutes you have to put them back in the oven then some shredded cheese and voila whatever else you want to put on honestly it's up to you to decide what you want on your pizza and it turned out so delicious ah oh, it's just such such a simple meal honestly from start to finish it takes half hour even with the preheating of everything so if you need a quick meal that's the thing to go to i definitely love it and i think any family would really like it you can't really tell it's sourdough it just tastes more like thin crust Well, I did not finish the night um, filming anything. Nevaeh ended up throwing up when we put her down. I don't know if she got worked up or something didn't settle right in her stomach, but it kind of became a little bit of a frustrating evening. So then we just folded clothes to watch a BBC Mystery and called it a night. So I hope you enjoyed coming along with us on this uh, cooking, cleaning, inspiration, gardening video that I had for you today. Um, if you like these type of videos, give it a thumbs up. That way I know I can keep doing these ones. And um, yeah, I hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day. And just enjoying time with your family on these lovely spring days that we do have. Alright, I will talk with you later guys. Love you. Bye.